So that's pretty much level play as in, in and of itself. We're going to get into more fun hazards later on. So where's he now? We are going to Cemetery Hill. Cemetery Hill? Yes. Because, you know, unlike a lot of normal people who would like to try to run away from danger, Fortescue meets it head on. And gets hit by an arrow. <laughs> from one... And, and it's actually the first one out of his whole, ar his whole army to die first. So, yeah. Yeah, he thought Skyrim was popular with the arrow and the knee jokes. Can I do that bitch about <laughs> taking an arrow to the eye? I thought I was going to make the arrow to the knee comment, but Matt. <laughs> My standards never get high. I like how his eyes are bulged down this bright. <laughs> I don't know why, but he reminds me of King Ramses from Courage the Cowardly Dog. I liked how earlier off the off the clock you asked what Courage the Cowardly Dog was, and yet you know King Ramses. Hmm. King Ramses. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have to. So now I gotta worry about boulders. Later. And apparently they can fly. They could just. They could just inflate and they come out the mouth. It's like a. Oops. It's like a giant balloon. Great aiming there, man. Yeah. Ten shots. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's practice. Let's practice. 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 <laughs> Booyah! Well, what's with that green thing right there? That's your aiming sight. Oh. Usually it's a lot better than it is. I just fucked up my shots. And later like, down the road, they'll times. release a PlayStation Move patch. Uh. <laughs> for, a, for a 15 year old. For, not 15. 10 or 11 year old game? Why not? Well, yeah, I can definitely see them, like, pointing it to the Wii and adding Wii pointer control for that thing. In this fact, looks they'll, important. They'll probably fuck you over and make the crossbow the main weapon. Are you they did that in Link's game, didn't they? Link's crossbow training? Yeah. yeah well, we don't talk about that, though. <laughs> oh, alright. Are you limited in inventory? For now, yes. Trust me, later on, Fortescue gets more weapons than he has any right to be holding. <laughs> <laughs> Energy balls. Free pick you up. Alright, well, your inventory is limited, but can you carry, like, 99 copies of one item? Oh, I think I may have misunderstood what you meant when you said limited. No, yeah. limited as in you have you have free space to carry everything in the game that you're going to carry. Okay. So I guess you could say it's somewhat unlimited. What are the different colored rocks? The the the, the uh, beige ones, like those ones I just ran from. You can't break. Watch out for those fuckers. They take your shield away like crazy. I which... thought the, I thought those were ton berries. No, those are headless zombies. It looks much better in the uh, remake port with that. But now your club has a health meter too. Yeah, the club breaks after enough smashes, but you never, but you almost never find yourself in a situation where you're going to be fucked out of a club. Oops. Anyway, <laughs> why did it fade to black there? I have no idea. Sometimes it does that. Um, the one thing, like I said about those headless zombies you just saw earlier, notice how I'm out of a shield. Yeah. They take away she some enemies when they hit you really hard. They can take away your shield percentage just like crazy. Jesus. So in some cases, it's best to go with ranged combat. We hate these dark old caves. That's why we set up shop here. He hates. He hates these. He's tapping into his inner golem, Elliot. <laughs> yeah, golem. Uh, I don't know why, but the voice sounds familiar. If it's a voice actor, you probably heard him in some other game before. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, this here is the Witch's Covenant. And I wouldn't be surprised if any of them practice necromancy. But that is disgusting. What? That it was said necromancy and necrophilia. Oh. oh but okay. not like it's really any work any better. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's some bit of difference there. Necromancy at least implies that you're rising people from the dead for like offensive purposes. Like I'm gonna Yeah, because I'm gonna I wanna see my back. dad back from the dead like I'm gonna that. bring you back to join my army or oh, there we go. Besides necrophilia, I'm gonna raise you back to the dead so I can fuck you. No, you're just plain fucking the dead. <laughs> anyway, you can light the club on fire as I did in there, which took me some godforsaken reason for a lot of time to do. And it can serve as an impromptu torch. Shit, shit, die. If, you're, if your club is on fire, will the percentage... Will the damage down? increase? Yeah. I'm will, not sure will, about will damage the... increase, but the percentage does go down. Okay, that's what I was... By the way, I am a bit of a fan of ranged gameplay, so that's why I pretty much used more money than I should on the ammo shops. How many times have you played and beaten this game? Tons. And a new brand spanking new copper shield and the witch's talisman. That's really the main objective here. Just to get the talisman? Yeah. One thing I can't really say I'm particularly fond of when it comes to medieval is that they have a bunch of things listed as optional side quests. 
but you're, nine times out of eight, you're probably going to have to do it anyway to get everything, so there's no real point in saying it's optional. And I hope I don't miss the jump. There we go. Yeah, the lava's instant kill, by the way. Of course, by instant... Oh, you fucker. I don't know why, but those... The tan ones remind me of Life Cereal. I don't know why. I was going to say kicks. That's what yeah, I was going to go for. Yeah, kicks, kicks. Ow! It, it's weird. Bone that's... is stronger than boulder. Corpse kicks. one, rock zero. Kicks. Kid tested. Force Q does not approve. <laughs> Force Q can approve. He has no jaw. <laughs> no Can't even give a thumbs up. <laughs> Statues commit suicide. Yeah, apparently they're keen on the idea of Simpuku. Simpuku? Yeah. What's Simpuku? Suicide. Ah. You have to fill me in on that. Just, just saying. That's alright. Meanwhile, I'm going to come over here and grab me a nice little drink. Well, those recharge points don't last forever. They don't until you leave the level and come back. So you can have some replay value with this game. Yeah, okay. Yes, sir. If by replay value, I mean you take your super sword and just rip through everything like a violent wind. Now, you only go to the Hall of Heroes when only, only when you complete the chalice of that level. Right. Okay. So if you were to go through that door without it being complete, you would just go to the next level. Exactly. This guy here is quite an asshole. It always refers to you as it. Uh, granted, yeah. you're no longer man or woman. It's just you're just bones. Yeah. You still have a name. Yeah, but everyone knows he was a guy. No well, history knows he was a guy. These guys don't give me shit. They just think, ah, oh, you're it. You are now bones, armor, and sword. Well, different weapons. What's that? Hey, that statue looks armory. Why is that statue for phasing out of this dimension? You're Why? growing yourself into being a hero. It's tra it's a transparent statue. Once you found, once you complete the game 100%, even that asshole gargoyle admits you're a hero, and you get your statue filled in. That pretty much means you're going to get the good ending. So he's right, like, Is that what you're going for? Yeah, I know where every child says. Why not? He's like Phil from Hercules, you could say then? Mm hmm. I don't know why they would give you the option of turning down items when you went out of your way to get the child's 40 items. I wouldn't say so much like Phil from Hercules, because Phil wants Hercules to become a hero. This guy could give two shits. Can he Tim? Huh? Can he Tim? No, the gar no. Oh, the no, gargoyle. The gargoyle. Yeah, like we're yeah. making the comparison between the gargoyle and Phil. Uh, and I was about to say, what the shit? <laughs> what? Some heroes aren't particularly fond of Fortescue making it in there. Well, it's not exactly they can do anything about it. They're kind of statues. They are rocks. Yes. Seven minutes in, we're already at the hilltop mausoleum. And Bitchin'. You you uh, <laughs> I noticed the checkpoint, the check, the green check mark next to the chalice means you pretty much gotten the the chalice for that. Level, exactly. So. At least you can this level has of one of the most have. infamous monsters in the game. Fleeman. Not them. <laughs> Gizmo. These little fuckers here are harmless. They'll they'll try to set you on fire with a torch, and you see how well that works for them. Yeah, that's not harmless at all. Compared to for, compared to Fortescue and what the damage he takes, these guys are absolutely pitiful. Can Fortescue increase combat uh, attributes? Like, can he get more swings? Can he nope. increase his range? Just the power of his weapons go up, and that's it. Okay. Huh. But, but in all fairness, the boosts you get are notable boosts. What, how? You'll, you'll notice it when you get better weapons. You kill enemies faster. Hey, get back here, little fucker. You feel free to take the uh, sociopathic approach to this game, as you should never be too discriminatory when it comes to getting your chalice up. All of a sudden, I'm kind of expecting a Viagra commercial in the form of a chalice. Oh, I'm going to hell for this. <laughs> <laughs> there may be items or money. Uh, money! Money! Wait, you missed one. That's the way I wanted to go. I wanted to be sure if I had everything else. And down we go. Oh. Okay. As, what? If we're just sticking finger imps. Take this note to fucking heart. That's what they're called. These are imps, yeah. Sticky imps. Why should no, we take? No, just imps, imps. Why should we take it to heart? They steal the weapons. Ooh. Now, when I say steal weapons, I mean let's put this in fucking perspective. They steal the good shit you get from the Hall of Heroes, and frankly, I'm not sure if you can get it back, as in either the Gargoyle Merchants will sell them back to you at a hefty price, a la Medieval Remake, or they're really gone for good in this game. You never had that happen in this one? 
I did once before when I lost my magic sword, and I will never let that happen again. Jeez. So this game's like like. Say that again? This game's like like. Uh, yeah. Except these things are really easier to kill. I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, <gasps> you need a key. I need a room. Yeah, very much. Uh, let me think. What? Stained glass spikes. That's cool. Yeah, this monster has a huge thing for stained glass. It's pretty metal. Now it's, those are it, the sticky finger bandits. Nope. These things are just doofuses. They get crushed as such. Where did he go from? The wall. Oh, of course. Fuck, 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 fuck! Floor is <laughs> collapsing. By the way, I'm not, sh I'm not sure you can predictably quote me on this, but if somehow you manage to fuck up and get an enemy killed a different way, they won't give you chalice points. Really? Oh, shit. Well, let's try not to show off. Oh, multiplier! Now, some weapons you can't get back, like the small sword here. Those little fuckers right there. The ones doing the wave. <laughs> <laughs> Those are your sticky little bandits. Hey, Johnny, can you come to like a clip of Marv saying, We're not the wet bandits, we're the sticky bandits! <laughs> I was actually thinking of Home Alone when I saw a sticky figure bandits. Stained glass demon here is the mausoleum. His weakness is his heart. So, basic gameplay 101. No, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, die, fuck you, die, die! Ah! Oop, took your small sword. Get it back, get it back. By the way, Dan has an arm. If you ever run out of weapons for some reason, you can always go with the good old-fashioned boom-bam. <laughs> Use your own arm. Yeah. <laughs> the game is not one to take its own humor. The game has a good sense of humor with itself, which is one thing I really love about this these games. Look at that ghost jam. Oh yeah, look at him go. I'm now imagining The Simpsons. <laughs> the would-be Phantom of the Opera longs to play a new tune, but he's doomed to repeat the same chords of despair over and over. You know, in terms of curses you can inflict on somebody, that's kind of low. And not low as in evil, low as in weak. Sort of like somebody getting cursed with immortality. That's not such a bad deal. For the first few thousand years, anyway. Eh. Yeah, you 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 get to, not only you will live forever, but you won't age. You won't age a bit either. So yeah. again, I'm not finding that in curse. <laughs> again, for the first thousand years. And it starts getting old after a By while. By the year six thousand, you want death. Uh, well, we can't make that claim because you know none of us are ever immortal. Do the, all right. So oh, another thing I want to ask: Do they give you more than enough enemies in order to collect 100% for the chalice, or is there some levels where you have to kill every single enemy in the stage? There's one level that you have to do that in, but generally speak, oh, you can't get the when they fall in the pit. Generally speaking, they do, but at the exact same time, there are some situations in which you'll have to alter that perspective a little bit. I'll show you what I mean when we reach Sleeping Village. Meanwhile, okay, <laughs> let's go save the Phantom of the Opera. Have you ever tried beating this game without getting any upgrades? That, that's not fun to me, in a way. Oh, okay. Hey, no. Is it gonna be alright? Don't you know I love you? Apparently that's good enough to send into the afterlife. These ghosts have real low expectations of what they want. There's a Medusa head on the floor there. Yeah, and that's just for decor. Oh, of course. Or a homage to Castlevania, why not? Well, Castlevania is badass. You know who's real badass? Julius Belmont. Yes. I, thought he, I like Simon more. Julius <laughs> put that fucker down once and for all. But he doesn't remember how he did it. <laughs> how do you not remember shame. how he killed someone? You would think well, you Well, after he sealed Dracula into the solar eclipse, he lost his memory. Huh. So, if anything, how did he know he really did it in the first place? He, because the history will tell you. But then again, that sort of bastardizes this yeah. game. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, uh, <laughs> we're looking at an exaggerated hero right here. But Fortescue is an exaggeration. Belmont is mad. Power Rangers are ready to go. No, we're missing the Green Ranger. The Green Ranger is the Sixth Ranger. He was added later. Oh, we're fine. Oh, wait, we're the Green Ranger's the right Ranger. there following him. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Thank I, I, you. I, I would have said Nobby, but okay. Fuck him. He, 
We have our own Tommy Oliver. Oh, there's Green Ranger. We're missing black and uh, pink. Okay, four of the six. Hello there, champ. You think stained glass demon would be a bad idea in and of itself, but there it is. Why does stained glass have a heart? <laughs> mm. That's why Ice Cube's had a heart in Kingdom Hearts 2. This is basically all you gotta do. It exposes his heart to do an attack. Yeah. Fuck! I do like how the heart is made of stained glass, though. Everything about this. Well, he wouldn't be much of a stained glass demon if he had a different kind of heart. <laughs> well, I mean, stained glass armor. Human heart. Or at least organic heart, I should say. By the way, folks, that's not the only heart attack we're going to be seeing, pardon the pun. <laughs> <laughs> that prison will do damage to you as long as you stay in there. Mash your X button to get the hell out of there as fast as you can. How many heart attacks does he have? Three. <laughs> <laughs> Poor bastard. <laughs> yeah, my father had three. <laughs> three. Ooh. Ooh, chaos, so block chaos Blast. How do you avoid that? I think you could block it. I kind of fucked up on that one, though. <laughs> hey, hey, all right, all right. That's his only non-heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> stroke, stroke, stroke. <laughs> and hopefully this will be it. Sayonara, shithead. Okay, now this heart attack's fatal. Hey, here's another pun. Heartbreak. That's the second pun. <laughs> <laughs> now we collect the key in his heart. Oh. And we're out. So I thought. Well, we were out. Uh, in the remake, you just leave the battle by jumping out the window you came in. 